it had not been for you, tell me where would I be? Today I'm going to talk about motherhood. Many people have been asking me to do videos about motherhood. You know? And so today I said, let's go. My first motherhood video. Are you ready? Please just sit here because we have a lot to talk about. Hello family, it's your girl Pat and you're watching Pat's View. Welcome to my channel. This is your first time. If, uh, if you are seeing me for the first time, please do subscribe to my channel. Like and please, please, please share my videos. And I beg you, comment below, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Alright, today I want, I'm so excited to make this video because I've been asked to make uh, videos about motherhood. And, um... I haven't been able to do this my first motherhood video and today I want to share some three things of that will change in your life when you become a mom yes when you become a mother <laughs> things that nobody will tell you unless you experience it they never told me who maybe I would have talked about it twice no way i've always loved to be a mother i've always loved to have like seven girls you know so nothing would have stopped me but you know things that people will not tell you today i've decided to give you three of those that people will never tell you wouldn't be expecting so first of all i want to say that being a mother is a great thing it's very awesome you know one of the best gifts that god has ever given to mankind is to give us this experience of being a mother a parent that is lovely everyone would love to be and people are struggling it's my prayer that um if you are watching this video it's my prayer and you really want wish to be a mother or a parent it's my prayer that god will help you become a mother too you know to experience this wonderful joy in it okay so it's joyful to be a mom it's awesome but it comes with a little bit of problems too you know as anything in life and i wouldn't even mention i say problems you know there are certain things that changes in your life when you become a mom yeah and uh, it's called i'll say more of sacrifices yeah it comes with a lot of challenges and uh, sacrifices so when you become a mom it's a wonderful thing i will list three things that no one will tell you will happen to you when you become a mom on my list number one is no sleeping at night my dear if you are like me and you love sleeping then forget to when you become a mom you won't sleep at all sleeping ha is not part of you anymore my sister especially the first month that you have to be feeding the baby every two hours or every three hours if you are bottle feeding my sister my brother parents <laughs> the first months are tough no sleeping ha you won't sleep you won't sleep oh. and um the most annoying oh i don't know how to put it yes and it's it's annoying me because people were saying you know when the kid is sleeping in the afternoon you sleep because when they are young like that they they turn the daytime into evening or night or the night and then during the night they, they wouldn't sleep so when they sleep during the day you sleep my dear is that said than done well maybe you can do that if you have people around you helping you you know you have your family members helping you around then you can do that but in my case it's not possible because i have no one around me i am doing everything myself you so you see so when the baby is asleep during the day, I will do my things. I have to wash, you have to cook, you have to, in, 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 there is a baby, a new a newborn, you have a lot of things to do, you have a lot of washing to do. So, when the baby is sleeping during the day, I will be working in the, at, the, at night, that baby should sleep, the baby won't sleep, and you won't sleep. So, just chill, it's all part of the package, you know. Who cares if by the grace of God you are able to become a mother? And then the first month you are not going to sleep no problem or oh, is it a problem i don't think it's a problem at all but yes this is something that nobody would tell you about it's lovely to see people with children oh cute baby oh so cute they won't tell you that hey i'm not sleeping at night <laughs> yeah so you won't sleep but it's all part of the package so hey we welcome all of that yeah 
Okay, so number two. The second thing is crying when your baby will cry. Yes. Well, crying. Crying in general because, you know, when you give birth, your hormones and everything changes and everything makes you cry. Well, that was my case. And I think in most cases, maybe not everyone is like that. Okay. I will cry. Anything makes me sad. When I give birth, everything is sad. Everything around me is sad. So I, became, I become more dramatic, you know. So you can't even make a silly joke with me. Things are, are serious. Hey, everything around me is so serious. No joking with serious matters. So you'll be crying when your baby is crying, especially when they have colics. Because the first month, they have colics. And they'll be suffering and crying. That will make you cry as a mother. This nobody will tell you. But yes, that is what happens to you when you become a mom. You cry because you are sad. You feel it. Sorry for your legs or what? They cannot poo because their intestines are not ready. They are not used to, you know. And um, they will cry. So you too will cry. Okay, so the fourth thing is my brother, my sister. So ready? the third is the third. For no Sorry, the third. Affair. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is when you become a mom or a parent, you no longer have your privacy. So if you are the type that would love to go to the toilet alone, you wouldn't want anyone to disturb you, you prevent you want to have a quality time with your husband or you want to be free. no, 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 no. At least not for me, for the first years of your kid. Your kids forget about that. You have no privacy in your home. You'll be bathing and you have to have your child in front of you waiting for you. You'll be pooing, you'll be doing your poop and your, your child will be waiting for you in front of you. Otherwise they'll cry. I mean, if you don't know they are following you, they are following you. They become your shadow. They'll be with you everywhere you go. Hey. <laughs> you don't have privacy anymore. So if you are the type that really appreciates your, your privacy, please be sure to enjoy your privacy before you become a mom, before thinking of becoming a parent. It's a very great privilege that God has given to women to become parents, become mothers. It's lovely to be a mother. It comes with sacrifices, challenges, but let me tell you, it's joy. It's joyful. I wouldn't even know how to explain or how to describe it. When you give birth, when you become a mother, my dear, you feel blessed. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people are hoping to have their kids and they are not even able to have it. So when you get this privilege, my sister, you forget about all these three things I've said. There are a whole lot of challenges, but today I wanted to share you. Uh, I wanted to share this story with you. So to me, three these three things people won't tell you before you become a mom and be ready for that. You wouldn't be sleeping. Your baby will cry and you'll cry as well. And you wouldn't have any privacy no more. At least not until the kids become a little bit uh, older. Yeah. Well, this is my case though. Maybe not everyone is the same. From my own experience, this is what I can list. The first story, okay? Um, maybe I'll be doing other videos and maybe I'll be adding certain things or not. I don't really know. But today I wanted to share with you this. So today I want to say that God bless you so much for your time. I really appreciate you. And if you are praying and you are, let's say... You are waiting for the fruits of the womb. With this video, may God help you. May God hear your prayers. And may you also become a mother or a parent. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye. I love you and I appreciate you so, so much. I've been repeating it because I really do appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.